Hey Deckers, the Callisto Protocol got a performance patch for PC and this makes it much more viable on Steam Deck. First of all though, a huge warning, lots of flashing images and lots of gore in this video. So if either of those are going to cause you problems, then thanks for stopping by. Why do I say this? Because this game is much more brutal than I was anticipating. It's also much better looking than I thought it was going to be, especially on the Steam Deck. And the performance patch really has made that 30 frames per second much more viable. You can see there, most of the time it is sticking now at 30, but we do still get some dips into the high 20s. Though the stutter is much less apparent. Now settings wise, we are just going to give you the best ones off the bat here because you will not see a huge amount of difference in the actual graphics quality in most of the gameplay. However, you will see a huge increase in the stutter and the frame drops. So if you do want to go for those higher settings, then you will need to play on something like GeForce Now or PC Streamed. On Steam Deck, it is going to be low settings with a few tweaks all of the way. So what are those settings? The easiest way to get to these is to go to the graphics preset and take the low preset. Apply this, you have to apply it in each step. It's really annoying and you can't change the settings in game. You have to do it from the main menu. So do be warned. Then once you've set that low preset, go into the effects menu and change anti-aliasing up to temporal AA. This will turn on the AMD FSR2 and you want to leave this on performance. Mesh quality medium is actually the lowest here. So these are the lowest settings with AMD FSR2 in performance. And this will get you the most stable gameplay all of the way through. Now you want that stability because you're going to be wanting to do a lot of dodging and fast melee attacks. And if you get it wrong, be sure the game is brutal and will teach you a very hard lesson in gory deaths. Now I do have to hand it to the Callisto Protocol developers here. The range of the death animations here is actually pretty impressive. And if you do get yourself in a bit of a loop, it can be a little bit frustrating, but the difference in the death animations does break it up somewhat. And it does mean that when you get them right, it does feel all the more satisfying as you go through. So there you go, there's quite a few of the death animations that happened to me while I was going through the game. But as I said, as you get better, you get a gun, you also get something called a force glove a little bit later on. It does make you start feeling really good about the game when you start pulling off a load of those extra moves. And because of the way of the timing, it does make you feel extra special when you get it all right. As you can see, even with everything popping off there, it does still dip into the 28s and 29s occasionally. It can't hold that 30 perfectly, but it's good enough. It's nowhere near as bad as it was prior to the patch and not as bad as people were seeing early on in the game. So hope you guys enjoy the Callisto Protocol. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. And the graphics are actually incredibly good, even on those low settings with AMD FSR 2 on performance. By far one of the better FSR implementations of the games we've seen on Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if you're diving into Callisto Protocol and whether these settings have helped you out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.